You know what I mean? It looks Wario. like what we're going to see is his Wario. Oh, we see this Wario, and now we're going to see uh, his Palu, which, I mean, look, I, I, Palu is one of the best characters. Palu's top five in the game. Like, she's so good. You know, don't, don't tell me otherwise, boys. She's so consistent. Exactly. And, and that Nutra invalidates, like, 80% of the cast. Insane, bro. Absolutely um, insane. And, you know, Abba in Smash 4, he was a Nair with Mewtwo, so you know what? Sometimes you just got to do it on a different character. That's Palutena true. definitely is sharing that uh, same, same Nair almost. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, doing big things, obviously, tops, top eight winners side, man. Yeah, I mean, this was no easy tournament, man. A lot of tough competition in the house. I mean, we know that just about SoCal region in general. Oh, so, yeah. I'll let you know how well both of these guys are playing. Uh, slightly, though, favoring Abadango. Wario trying to use that mobility to just slide on in. Good anticipation on that explosive wow. flame. That standing grab has insane range for Palutena. And, you know, Abadango has a Wario of his own, so that could be a really big factor when Abadango's playing this matchup. He knows what Kamehameha wants. He knows these kill confirms, especially knowing all those little waft confirms at those certain percents. Yep. That's where you can, uh, you know, Wario can pull the gun and be like, yeah, give me this game. Those little intricacies that can make all the difference. As you see, the Yeet didn't get the Yaw. Oh, we're going to get the run back. Definitely not going to kill just yet, but we got the bike under control here. Oh. Tries to get a counter, but no fuzzy dice. But the back air will connect off the ledge trap for Abadongo. That was clean. That was clean. Okay, now, now we're at this low percent, and I see Abba pressing that A button. Ooh. All right, Ooh. that was great anticipation. Almost kind of forced him into that option out of the yeah. board there, too. So brilliantly played there from Kameme. And him and Abadongo just evenly matched thus far. Abba was definitely going for the edge cancel teleport on the middle platform. Kamehameha just saw through it. And we even saw him just hit him out of the startup. So that was just really great awareness from nice. Kamehameha. Nair out of shield, not going to fully connect there. If you get that second hit, many up bears are to follow. Man, and that, that Nair can be so pesty to like Woo! just hold that shield. And, ooh, man, I was talking about up air strings. But talk the full waft. Yeah, talk about it, baby. Yeah, the full waft is online here for Kamehameha. Abadango really trying to just space out with these falling fares. But all these lingering hitboxes, man. Kamehameha's doing such a good job of just positioning himself and not really giving Abadongo much breathing room. No, for sure, man. Kamehameha, it's really just Kamehameha's pressure has just been absolutely insane. And Abadongo, he's a guy, like, he likes to be in control. So when you're able to just kind of keep him on a defensive end, that's when you're really going to be able to flourish uh, against an opponent like him. Yeah, especially just with the general pacing, too. Abba is someone that's so good at playing at his pace forcing the game at his pace as well, but I feel like Kameme has turned the tables on him. Oh, no doubt about that. Yeah, he's just staying... Nicely done. That was great. That down tilt confirming into the dash attack. Going to seal off that stock. And uh, Newsflash down tilt on Wario does not have that much range, and he, like, barely whiffed punish. Yeah. Palutena Nair. That is not easy to do, especially with something as short range as down tilt. Really great stuff from Kameme. He has the rage. He has the walk. This could be a solid two-stock if he gets one of these walk controls oh, up to Of course, he's looking for the right opening, and there it is. Oh, you caught it. He delivered it. A dominating performance from Kameme to open up winner semis. Yes, and uh, there you have it, man. We were talking about walk confirms. You can get off the up tilt. You can get off the second hit in there. And, and of course, falling up air as well. Those are the most common uh, confirms I see. And Kameme is going to be very, very comfortable with that. And if you're not comfortable with that, we're probably not going to see you on winner's side top eight. I have never heard you tell a lie, and the strategy continues. Yep, but looks like we're going to keep the same matchup here. Abadongo going to stay with the Palutena, but we are going to see a change of scenery here. Yoshi's Island Brawl. I know how much, I know how much, so much people love this stage. Well, Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, got to be some sarcasm in your voice. Obviously, these slants tend to irk people a little bit. I personally love the stage more so from an aesthetic perspective, yes. you know what I mean? But I understand as a, a top player how this could bug you a little bit. Yeah, I mean, look at the Sunflowers. They're so happy. Ramadango's always been that kind of guy who's just like, something that you find irksome, I thrive off of. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like that's kind of the way Abba's always played. He likes to kind of exploit whatever he can, so no doubt he's going to be incredibly comfortable on this stage. We'll see how Kamehameha responds. Pretty even right now. They're seeing Abba going ahead just a tad bit. Love the control we're seeing on the right side, and he is just smacking that boy left and right. Yeah, right there, Kamehameha, good job DIing in. You don't want to get like backered while DIing out. That is not fun. But right now, Abba, man, Abba is abusing that standing grab range. Palutena, one of the longest range on standing grab, and man, is he abusing it. Right now, Kamehameha looking like he is ready to go off that stock, but he's still surviving. Mm. Just waiting out the bike. 
Oh, oh man. That was a lot of pressure Kabebe tried to put on. Hit him with the foot, though. But look at it. Even, even at the deficit, you see that the, the offense is unrelenting, right? And then he actually gets the stock off first. You got to credit somebody like that who's just so. There's an old saying I learned back in Melee, okay? They can't hit you, okay? If you're hitting them, my man KM Jeez. told me that. I was, that's all, I'm dating myself right now. I'm talking old school MDV, okay? He Yo. told me that, and God damn it, if it ain't true right now in this game two for winner semis. Yeah, and Kameme definitely has been hitting Abba for almost an entire minute, if not more, man. But he's still got three stocks on deck. What is the answer it's here? Also, for just Abba don't Dawson? get hit from Isaiah, too. Remember that? Of course. That's even old school. The, the class. I missed that guy, man. He was cool. Yes, yes. He took a picture with me at Apex once. Yo, that's high. I was like, I'm a big fan of you. He's like, thanks. I don't know who you are, but I don't mind taking pictures. I, was, I couldn't believe he said that. And nobody believed that he said it to me. Nobody really? believed. Damn, Isaiah. But Isaiah keeps it real, though. It's like the N-word in Armada. Nobody believes that story when I tell people. I'm talking, I'm talking about neutral. Oh, neutral. Yeah, 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 neutral. yeah, 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 yeah. My neutral. <laughs> anyway, we, we had a good one developing here at Semis, baby. We're holding it down. You already know, we're doing it out here. It's the Mango, and of course, it's Mango Stream. So, you know, he, he, you got to do it to I'm him. Kidding. You got to do it to him. I'm kidding. Armada's awesome. I love that guy. <laughs> Armada will be commentating top eight for Melee. Let's go, Armada's. Let's Get go. it, man. Ooh, but the neutral. And that's the crazy thing about Palutena and Nutria. It's a great combo tool. And yes. you know what? Eventually, 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 it'll take the stock. Something's got to give, baby. Something's got to give. Man, Kamehame actually DIing that down throw in. So he had the mix-up of teching on the platform, that giant platform that comes with Yoshi Island Brawl. Absolutely. There's a back air. Man, this is crazy. So, tell me. Oh, my God. Parry into what? I don't think I've actually ever seen that. Dang, I think, I think that is the first that. time I've witnessed that. And I'm not disrespecting any of our great warriors out there. I don't think I've ever seen that combination. You got to be really confident in your parry because you got to, like, practically buffer that or just have godlike reactions, which most of these players do. Of course. But, man, oh, I've, that was, like, the first time I've seen that, and I definitely know that's the first time I've seen that, in, like, in a top eight of this caliber. So, Kame man. May. We, we're, we're hyping up this man's Mega Man. But man, he got the Wario on deck and as I, well. And I think it's, it's, and I was wondering, I was gonna bring this up before that happened. Like, do you think if this results in another two stock, if we're gonna see that prompt the switch from Abba? And it looks like that's gonna be the case. One of those characters, he actually started out playing Ultimate with being his Inkling. Definitely refined it since some of those old tournament results I see back in Japan. I think his Inkling, uh, one of his good go tos right now, and he certainly needs an answer. Yeah, very safe character. Of course, we're going to see the up throw up air. Wario can have a, a little troublesome. He does not have a great amount of range. Some of his lower hitting hitboxes are, can be hard to hit on Inkling because that dash just puts Inkling so low to the ground. Right. Oh, All man, right. you don't want to be grabbing that bike. No, you do not. Coming in this with a ton of momentum is Kamehameha, but Abadango thus far doing a good job just kind of keeping him contained. I like the grabs. You already know you're going to get those guaranteed follow-ups, man. I I'm talk oh. about making some adjustments on a character, man, but it's cool. I ain't mad at you. Get your bread, Cosmo. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. How about Dango putting on a clinic right now to open up the third game? Yeah, I mean, what what an opener. Really just, I mean, I would assume this matchup's just bad. Yeah. Um, I, I've heard Tweet talk about it. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, Abba definitely kind of showcasing that uh, he is not really getting hit from Kamehameha. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, he's just. And he's inked up now, so you already know going to take a little bit more damage. I, I wonder if, like, this is going to end up being a counter pick war, if, like, this game is really, really solid. Of course, we're looking quite into the future. We're still very early in this game. Kamehameha, of course, like, that waft is such a great comeback factor for Wario. You can almost never count Wario out. It's, it's really tough to you. Like, you have to really, I feel like you have to really put on a solid, almost insurmountable lead. And I feel like right now this is not going to be the case. As far as, like, if he's able to take the stock right now, I think he still has plenty of opportunity to run this back. And we shall see. All right, there it is. The stock goes down there. 97, but Wario can put together some really strong combo strings. And of course, Kareem, you've been highlighting the waft factor as well. So a lot of things can still go right for Kamebe if he can keep his composure. Yeah, we're about to get full waft in about eight seconds. So it takes two minutes for the full waft. And of course, the uh, the waft that's like the little waft that you want yeah. is uh, is the minute half waft. It's been like that since Brawl. So shout out to Brawl. Shout out to Brawl. Classic. But Abba's still keeping it safe. I like that. Abba, he has a very huge lead, but he's definitely still not overextended. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh we got parries of wow. our own, paying him back a little bit okay. from that last game. Man, and we even got parries into the roller. 
That's the first time I've seen that one, too. <laughs> All right, Japan. Maybe I got to tune in to more tournaments. A whole lot of firsts at this one, baby. They are not disappointing. Two of Japan's finest really in a slugfest now. But a, a, a must-win situation for Alba to keep his winner's hopes alive. That is definitely Inkling's most underrated move. That neutral B, let's drop double jump neutral B is so hard to deal with. If you shield it, it has so much shield stun, it's just straight up safe. Right. And it, it doesn't deal a lot of damage, but it puts a lot of ink on you. Oh, man, they're, they're just crossing each other up all day, man. That was like 10 seconds of first cross-ups. Alvadongo, though, definitely getting the better of him. Kind of wondering, yeah, I was going to say, is he going to let that WAP go or not? But unfortunately, not able to hit and connect. That's a big one. That's huge, yeah. And that's see, that's like, I feel like if you're playing so safe to the point where you make the Wario feel like they have to just YOLO the WAP or just try to do it out of shield, that's when you're in a really good spot because they don't have the confidence in their neutral to just get one of the confirms off. Or you're just playing so safe against those like specific confirms that they just they can't really just do it safely. No, not at all. And right now Abba is definitely making that relevant and look, Abba's still sitting pretty, pretty much has lapped him in percent up an entire stock right now. Yeah, These back ears are still coming. Abba's probably thinking, man, why didn't I switch sooner? <laughs> I get it though, man. You don't let game one dictate your fate. Yeah, so it, it's sometimes a stubborn thing, you know, like you, you've been in there, you know, you, you've been in tournament, you're just like, ah, oh, that was close, like, that was just me, that was just yeah, character, exactly. you know what I mean? Absolutely agreed. All right, local small stage shenanigans, that back here, man, talk about strong aerials, look no further than Inklin. I think we are definitely assured a game four at this point. And yeah, he's definitely trying to get this dash attack. Back throw is still not going to kill Wario, still so heavy. England can have a little trouble killing, but the up air will connect for Abadongo. Yep. Going to get himself on the board and with Inkling, of course. With Inkling handling business. All right. Abba looks exhausted, <laughs> man. Like, oh. He does. He was just like, man, I had to was like a pseudo, <laughs> run a pseudo marathon for that. You're making me work for it. So I, I wonder if we're going to see a switch from Kameme. Uh, we could see the Mega Man. Uh, I'm not too sure what other characters Kameme has up his sleeves. But of course, we have been hyping up this Mega Man. Right. So. I mean, I've been a fan of uh, Mega Man in this game for a while. You know, I think he's I so remember, much better. In this yeah, game. and he's mad cool. I remember watching uh, who uh, Plup streams. Plup used to Plup, scat. stream a lot. Yeah, Scat obviously. But I, I really was a fan of uh, Plup's Mega Man. So any Mega Mans I see, I tend to uh, tend to definitely keep a good eye out. That's an awesome character for sure. Yeah, I know Plup has been saying that uh, Greninja hasn't been too fun for him as of late. He said that around Gamel. I dig it. So I dig it. he's just pretty much been going Mega Man and he's he it's it's so cool to see how he edge guards with Mega Man. Obviously like just most of the melee players coming in the ultimate they're just a lot more aggressive off stage. So I, I love to see their off stage. I love to see the melee players. Oh movement. for sure man. It, it's it's so fun to watch. Them dude, them dudes just throw caution to the win. I love it. All right, but here is the Mega Man we were talking about Korean Kabeme wasted no time bringing it out as some countermeasures to this uh, Inkling, which was quite effective oh, yeah. against it, that warrior. It really didn't look like Kamehameha had much options. It kind of looked like he was getting smothered. He, he couldn't get really land a hit, couldn't really get any momentum going. Not but at all. now we have Mega Man. You know, you're, you're fighting someone like Inkling, they're moving around, but Mega Man just can control. He has the pellets, he has the saw blade, and all these great arrows to go with that as well can kind of put this Inkling on check a little bit. No doubt about it. We'll see if it'll be enough to get the job done. All right, great spacing from Abadango. I like what Abadango's doing, man. He'll put some pressure on, and they'll elect to just kind of get out the way and just retreat. He can get away with that, too. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, England has a multitude of ways to just pressure you from close and apart. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, that back air pretty much being a sword move. It's yeah. so good, and it has zero lag. Zero. Like, Ooh, zero. Man. All right. Getting splatted. Oh, yeah, that up smash is going to seal the deal, and... And that, that's one thing that's going to... Wow, he got the sour hit. That almost confirmed for him. That definitely would have been the stock if he got the strong hit. That show you can be so, so strong for Mega Man. Pretty nutty. But, but now Abba holding on to this stock. Honestly, hasn't taken too much damage. There's no rage on Mega Man as well. See if Kamehameha can get something going for him. Love that. Just being aggressive, even in the return. And as you said, maybe an underrated so move as far as returning, man. It's, it's, about, it's about the pressure it alleviates and still what it does to the other characters for us getting that inkling. Yeah, and it has so much range too. If you're an inkling main and you're not doing that, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. Get to up. it. Yeah, there Get you go. to it. Hit the lab work. Oh my goodness, hit that up smash. We'll take it. Yeah, now Kamehame only taking like 57%, obviously. We're talking about how Mega Man is quite heavy. He's heavy, man. They call him Rock Man in Japan Ooh. for a reason. Yeah, and of course. I, that's true, right? 
Yes. Hey, hey. You got it, you got it. I know what the hell I'm talking about, boys. Let's get it. Commandment rocking the red one, of course. Uh, been rocking it since. Smash 4. And, uh, man, That's a lot classic. of his aerials got buffed, too. His, his flame sword is so much better in this game as well. Ooh. Man, and this leaf shield doing so much work. Seriously, love the shenanigans. Oh, wow, that backer actually helped him fade that roller attempt. Yeah, and that's the mix-up there. Essentially, if you go for a Leaf Shield, they're either going to stand there and throw it right next to you, or they have to, like, jump and throw it away. That, that's essentially the 50-50 is pretty much Mega Man's two best options that you're going to be looking out for to counterplay that Leaf Shield. Big facts from Korean right now. And yeah, and I mean, it's pretty, pretty much his, lead. it's pretty much his get off me tool. You know what I mean? Like, because everyone has, like, that Nair, and that's, that's something he really lacked in Smash 4. Now he has some kind of fast hitbox. It's just like, you got to respect it. Right. You have to, like, at least go into shield sometimes and not just run me over. Oh, Ooh. but there's the roller. He's talking about wow. running over. He almost, that, that boy must have been buffering that mash. Dang, man. What uh, the heck? I heard his mashing from here. How, do, yeah, sir, how does his <laughs> hands move that fast? Man, that's crazy. You know, uh, you know what's crazy? Yeah. When, when, you, uh, when you bury a Luigi main, they get out super quick because they had the mash in Smash 4. For the, oh, you're yeah, right. For the cycling, yeah. yeah. I see Elegant get out of matches so fast. It's just another day at the office for them. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, something like it, it actually matters that I know how to match. Because <laughs> uh, RIP that move. <laughs> yeah, rip, rip, rip a Rooney. That is for sure. But Credit's Kamehameha, man, he has really got a lot of mileage off of this stock. And honestly, if I'm out of Dongo, I'm definitely a little hesitant on what's going to happen here. I, I can see a. Uh, you can see the sweat building up for Alvin. Oh, just from here. What he did? That's what I'm talking he's about, dead. man. I'm telling you, you got to be extra cautious. This guy, Kamehameha, he's not playing around. And now one stock away from booking the trip into winner's Ooh. finals and some great combinations off that leaf shield. Yeah, it's just he's able to really just utilize this full tank of rage. But I don't think you're rolling yeah, out. Exactly. You imagine how that one calm down. You know, it's crazy. He was trying. Yeah, exactly. I was like, if he got out of that, man, we had to check that controller, man. It's one of those old Mad Cats with the turbo button. <laughs> turbo. Okay. What the Yo. hell's going on, bro? Are you mashing out on 170, man? I used to be a god with Doc and Melee with that turbo <laughs> button, man. And they put all these restrictions on stuff. Alex Stripe, I hate you. Bam. See ya. Bam. For good. Game still rolling on, though. As you see, the main man is trying to take it. Oh, man, hold that ink, man. I thought you were rocking the red Mega Man, dude. He's, he's looking straight purple nah, out here. That's that cotton candy flavor right now, baby boy. <laughs> straight up. He's got the saw blade in hand. We've seen all these saw blade setups from Kamehameha, but not going to connect on Abba. And, I mean, Abba had a Mega Man of his own in Smash 4, so he definitely knows about all these item setups oh, for sure. as well. No doubt about that. I mean, this is not foreign territory. That's why I feel like he has to have a paid up that him that proper amount of respect as well. And Ali, Abba kind of closed the gap, though, but it, it's looking pretty scary, man. I mean, Abba's getting close to that kill percent, and... Just how heavy Mega Man is, like, he's not really close to go percentage at all. If I'm Kamehameha, I'm not sweating anything right now. Yeah, Kamehameha is big chilling right now. Like, there's no reason to, especially now. Like, he's over 100, like, oh, oh. my god, at that turnaround off the saw blade execution style. Kamehameha with the 3-1 victory over Abadongo. That was so clean from Kamehameha, man. And we've seen him do that Z-drop saw blade into the up beat, or the, uh, the up tilt, my bad. But that time, he went